Welcome to Replica Studios. In today's walkthrough, we're going to take a look at our text-to-speech service and its features and capabilities. When you first log into Replica, you arrive on our home screen. Home screen contains useful links to our popular tools such as text-to-speech, our voice changer or speech-to-speech, -speech, and voice lab. These latter two we will take a look at a later date. At the very bottom of the screen, we have our uh, entire library of voices that you can use in your projects, and you can audition those voices by clicking on the play button here. Your request has been noted. I will proceed as instructed. We so many of our voices have multiple styles, um, and you should be able to audition all of those. For the voice that you particularly like, you can favorite these, and they will appear in your uh, favorites list just here. We've also created a number of voice groups, which we think you'll find convenient for casting uh, the perfect voices for your creative projects, from your leads or heroes to supporting or quirky sidekicks, uh, villains, distinct accents, and so on. Today, we're going to take a look at text-to-speech. When you first arrive in Voice Director, you'll notice that the area is broken into two main sections. Up top, we have our tools for creating our generations, and below, we have the tools for managing the generations we've created in our session. Also, across the top, we have our menu to access more advanced preferences and configuration settings, and our balance of credits. Our credits tick down for every generation that we have. Uh, just down at the bottom right here, we can see what this style of generation will cost, which is two credits per second. You can visit our FAQ and our pricing page to get more information about how our credit system works. So let's get started by creating a generation. Over here, we get to select our voices. We can bring up our entire list of our library, or we can drop into our favorites and just pick something that we would like to use. Uh, I'm just gonna stick with Atlas. Wisdom is not knowing all the answers. And let's see, see what he sounds like. Underneath that, we have our option to choose from different styles that that actor has. And then we can choose to just generate. Welcome to Replica, where our voices have character. Perfect. So we have our player down at the bottom. When we have multiple lines, we can use the controls here more thoroughly. Uh, we can go ahead and download the audio. We can favorite this so that we can filter it later. And we can also apply a label to it if we want to. Uh, these are some labels that I've created earlier, but you can also go ahead and create some new labels that might be custom to your workflow. I'm now going to uh, go through each of the tools that we have here from pitch, pace, volume, our language selector, and our voice effects. So getting started with pitch. Pitch controls the overall tone or pitch of the voice, making it sound, uh, if I drag it this way, it will sound deeper or bassier, and if I drag it the other way, it will sound more shrill or high-pitched. So we'll drop it just a little bit. Uh, the unit here is in semitones uh, so this will be four semitones lower than previously welcome to replica where our voices have character and just to compare that welcome to replica where our voices have character and let's just bring it up the other way we'll go four in the other direction welcome to replica where our voices have character Excellent. So I think we're just going to stay uh, at the lower uh, range that we picked before. The next one that we have is our pace control. Uh, so this manages the speed of uh, delivery. So it's not necessarily just stretching or squeezing the audio to make it faster or slower. It's actually telling the AI model to read the words faster or slower, depending on what we choose here. Uh, so we can read it up to 50% slower or 50% the speed of the original audio. And we can request it to be read even faster. So this would be 20% faster. Welcome to Replica, where our voices have character. Or we can go the other way. 
Welcome to Replica, where our voices have character. So you can really see there they've drawn out some of the words and elongated some of the vowels. We'll just keep it a little bit faster for now. Uh, our volume adjustment helps uh, somewhat with the mastering and post-production, which is if you've got a particular um, decibel level that you're trying to lock in, you can reduce the overall loudness of the delivery as well. Uh, we'll just drop that a little bit. Welcome to Replica, where our voices have character. And we'll just reset that for now. Next up is our language selector. We've got 20 languages to choose from. Um, there's two things to be aware of with the languages. One is when you pick a separate language, it's not going to automatically translate it. But if you do happen to have uh, the French nearby, we can drop that in. Bienvenue chez Replica, où nos voix ont du caractère. So that will um, keep the consistency of the character across different languages. But something also that's also quite interesting is if you do feed it English and pick one of the other languages, you quite often get a good uh, resulting French accent uh, attempting to pronounce Welcome English. to Replica, where all voices have character. And if I pick German, for example. Welcome to Replica. Where our voices have character. And while that's not foolproof, uh, we typically get very good results out of that. I'll just revert to English for now. The last thing I'd like to show you is our uh, voice effects. Of We're always adding new voice effects, but these are just nice, interesting, and convenient ways to add uh, some additional uh, feeling to the audio that you're generating. Welcome to Replica, where our voices have character. So that is our vintage radio effect. I might try our cheery robotic effect here. Welcome, Welcome to Replica, where our voices have character. Now for that one, I felt that that was a bit too much, so I might just turn down the mix a little bit so that it's about 60%, so it's not so robotic. Welcome to Replica, where our voices have character. Great. So I'm pretty happy with that result. I'm going to favorite it, and I'm also going to add it to my labels. And I can revisit my favorited ones just here. So maybe I no longer want this one. And uh, we have our labeled and uh, favorited uh, voice lines that we really like here. And what I might then choose to do is just clean up uh, the ones that I didn't particularly want to use, we can delete those. And then I can go ahead and download it. If I've got multiple, I can download them as a zip file here. But if I, if I have a single audio file that I want to download, I can do it from here or even from the player button down here as well. And although we went ahead and removed all of those rows to clean up the session a bit, those uh, past generations are always available to you uh, via the history, which contains all of your generations for all sessions. I hope you've enjoyed the walkthrough today, uh, that it was useful, and join us next time when we go through our next tool, Voice Changer, also known as Speech to Speech.